SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM, otherwise known as EPDM, provides the tools and capabilities that your enterprise needs to keep people connected, up to date, and working on the same set of data, regardless of their location. To demonstrate this collaboration, I've logged in as a manager into Enterprise PDM. And we can see here, I have a full grill assembly file that needs to be changed. Right now we notice that it's in a state of released. So what I need to do as a manager is release this and change its state back to a work in progress. So I'll right click on this file, I'll change its state to new release. Enterprise PDM gathers all reference documents and changes states together. Here I can leave a comment and a notification comment and then select what engineers will be making changes. So under comment, maybe I'll put an ECO number to reference. Under notification comment, I want the engineers to know that they need to make changes per spec. And now here I can select which engineers need to make these changes. So engineer one and engineer two, I'll say okay, and enterprise PDM will go through and change state on all these files, back to work in progress. So you'll notice in a blink of an eye, the state of all these files has changed to work in progress. Let's log in as Engineer 1 and see what he sees on his side. So I'm ready to log in as Engineer 1. I'll put in my credentials and say OK. First thing I notice is a sound and a notification icon from the bottom of my screen letting me know that there has been some sort of change to files in the vault. If I come to my inbox here, I can get a full list of what has actually been changed. First thing I'll notice as Engineer 1, I'll look at dates. The last thing that's changed here, the following files have changed state from release to work in process, and the operation was performed by the administrator. And now here it gives me hyperlinks to all the files that would need changing. So if I come down and find my full grill assembly, I can actually use the hyperlink to go directly to the folder. Once in the folder, let's take a look. We'll notice that the file itself has been highlighted and I already see that Engineer 2 is working on a couple of the files that are within this full grill assembly. So this checked out by column is very important. It lets me know that people are working on files and that I cannot make changes to these files. Here I have a nice little image of Engineer 2. Let's go ahead and open this full grill assembly in SOLIDWORKS and take a look at the add-in. While opening the file, EPDM will take a look at reference documents and see if other files have already been checked out by users. And it'll notify me in this checkout dialog box that Engineer 2 is already currently working on two of these parts. Me, as Engineer 1, maybe I need to continue adding some files and documents and components to this full grill assembly file. So I'm just going to check out just that assembly file. I'll hit checkout and Enterprise PDM will open this document in SOLIDWORKS. Once this file's been opened in SOLIDWORKS, I can see exactly who's working on what. Let's take a look at the SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM add-in. Here, first thing I'll notice is that the crossbar has already been checked out by Engineer 2, and I can see that this top-level full grill assembly, grill top and bottom, has been checked out by me. All of these you can see now are a work in progress. So from this window I have the ability to do many things. I can make my changes to the file, save, and then check them back in. Or if I'd like, I can continue checking out and checking in files, depending on what it is that I click on. So maybe I decide I need to make a change to the control panel. Once highlighted here in the add-in, I can use the icon up here to check this file out. It brings up the dialog box asking if I want to check out any of its reference documents, and I don't. So I'll just check out the one file. Now you see in the add-in here that Engineer 1 has this file checked out. And I can continue to edit this at the assembly level and make any necessary changes. If I need to open that file on its own, I can use the open dialog box here. Once I'm done making all the changes I need to make, I can actually take these files and I can check them back into the vault. When I check these back into the vault, other users can see the changes that I've made. I can even leave a comment if necessary. One thing I need to do with the add-in is make sure that I'm actually checking in the correct files. So I'll take the full grill assembly now after the changes I've made and I'll check this in. We'll just pretend that I've added some components to the assembly file. 
once the check-in dialog box pops up, I get a few additional items that I can see directly in the pane. First off, SolidWorks is telling me that my assembly file has not been rebuilt. Best practice would say, cancel out and rebuild the file. It also lets me know that these other two files are checked out by another user, so I cannot check those in. The reason it's showing everything here is because all of these documents are referenced by this full grill assembly file. Once I'm finished, I can leave a little comment and say, I've added components. And I'll check this file in. Keep in mind, Engineer 2 could be located at another location. EPDM can be used in many locations by having servers talk back and forth with one another so that everyone's working in real time with real data. This has been a quick tutorial on how to collaborate using Enterprise PDM, and I hope you found it helpful. Thank you. Mm -hmm.